case study based for class 10 students the chapter is arithmetic progressions the case question is your father wants to buy a car and plans to take loan from a bank for his car he repays his total loan of rupees 1 lakh 18000 by paying every month starting with the first installment of rupees 1000 if he increases the increment by rupees 100 every month then answer the following questions and it total loan liya hai 1 lakh 18000 first installment 1000 and installment by increased by 100 every month okay now give the answers the question number 1 the amount paid by him in 30th installment is 3900 3500 3700 and 3600 age first installment is rupees 1000 increment increase 100 okay find 30th installment means n equal to 30 we have to find the a 30 30th term the formula of 30th term an equal to a plus n minus 1 into d A is one thousand. N minus one means thirty minus one. It means twenty nine into hundred. Thousand plus twenty nine hundred, which is equal to thirty nine hundred. This is the thirtieth installment. The right option is A. Next, the amount paid by him in thirty installments is. There are four options. The amount paid by him in thirty installments. Amount paid by him all thirty installments as thirty. We have to find the as thirty sum of thirty installments. The same question formula of S n equal to n by two a plus l because the thirtieth installment. हमको पता है thirty nine hundred a is one thousand. Okay, n by two. n is thirty. Thirty by two. First installment is this, and last installment, thirtieth installment is thirty nine hundred. Fifteen into which is equal to the forty nine hundred. Now multiply fifteen here. Okay. Multiply by fifteen. Zero. Fifteen nine zero. One thirty-five. Thirteen carry fifteen into four sixty plus seventy-three. It is equal to the rupees seventy-three thousand five hundred. The right option is thirty-seven thousand thirty-seven thousand five hundred. Okay. Next, what amount does he still have to pay after thirtieth installments? अब उसको और कितना amount अभी pay करना है? देखिए. Total loan amount is one lakh eighteen thousand. Minus, how much we have to pay? Twenty minus करेंगे seventy three thousand five hundred. यानी इतना thirty installment में pay कर देना है total. अब ये बचा है. इसमें से इसको minus करेंगे zero zero five. Okay. यहाँ seven minus three four four forty four thousand five hundred. Rest amount. The answer is. Forty-five thousand five hundred. Next question: Total installments are forty. Then the amount paid in the last installment. The total amount forty is. So, its last installment. How many rupees is it? So, we have to take out the total amount. Fortieth term. A forty. We have to take out the fortieth term. So, A is one thousand. N minus one. So, forty minus one is thirty-nine. D is hundred. A plus n minus one into d, thousand plus thirty nine hundred, forty nine hundred. This is the fortieth installment, which is the right answer. Forty nine, thirty nine hundred, fifty nine, and ninety four thousand. The answer is forty nine hundred. Last question: the ratio of the first installment to the last installment is. One is two forty nine, ten is two forty nine, and so on. The ratio of the first installment. The first installment is rupees one thousand, and fortieth installment is forty nine hundred. Zero cancel. 
the ratio is 10 is to 49 okay the right answer is 10 is to 49 b option okay this is the case study of the chapter arithmetic progression